Hey, y'all. I told you you'd finally get to meet me someday. I've been waiting on my eyes to heal. I had um, eyelid surgery, and they had to remove some of my eyelids because they were sagging so bad, um, especially in my right eye. I couldn't hardly see out of it, but I can see pretty well now, and I'm so happy I had that done. Um, if you're contemplating doing it, um, I would say do it. Go for it. Uh, the healing process wasn't long. A um, couple of weeks, and the bruising and the swelling was gone. But anyway, I'm glad y'all finally got to meet me. Hi! I'm in North Georgia, Dalton, Georgia, and we're doing a mixing video today. I'm going to show you how I make the gel flow trial recipe that I use in my paintings. And then we're going to paint. I've been wanting to do a Dutch pour with pigments only. And that's what we're doing today. So I hope y'all enjoy the video. Please subscribe, watch my videos, tap the like button and the notification bell if you want to be notified of, of my upcoming videos. But let's get to the table and do it. And it was nice to meet everybody. Bye. Hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Rhonda with Rhonda Thomason Acrylics and Clocks. And I've had lots of people wanting to see a mixing video. So here we go. I'm just going to jump right into it, okay? First of all, I use Golden's Regular Gel Gloss. You can get this on Amazon. And the Flood, American Flood Flow Trial. You can get that on Amazon. You can get it a lot of places. Um, the Home Depot, Lowe's. You can go there and get it, or you can order it online. And what I do is... One part of the gel gloss. I use a cup. I just use a measuring cup. And I put it in this big tub. One part of that. to three parts of the American flow trial. And, excuse me, I didn't put my paper towels over here. And you need, or you can use pantyhose. I, can, I use pantyhose sometimes. If I'm using like multiple bottles of this stuff, I have them scattered everywhere. But you can get this filter lid right here. Mm, excuse me. On Amazon. It's called a flow trial filter. <laughs> because this stuff does have loogies in it. And you want to make sure you shake it really good. Mm, excuse me. And then leave your filter on there. And I do three parts of that. I'm also going to show you, after we mix this, I'm showing you how to do my pouring medium, and I'm going to show you how I mix my paints. That was one. Two. I can hear my chickens crowing out there. I have chickens, I have uh, three Rottweilers, and those of you that's been commenting and chatting with me, it's nice to meet you, and thank you for your support. 
anybody that's watching this, please watch my videos and subscribe and talk with me. Leave comments. That was three. This is my pouring medium. One cup of the gel, three cups of the Floetrol. And I use the, a whisk to mix it because if you don't, it's going to take a while. But I don't whisk it. I, that'll put a lot of bubbles in it. I just stir it real good. And if I forget to edit this part out, please just fast forward through it, okay? This mixing part right here. You can fast forward through that. I'm going to try to edit it out, though, or fast forward it. I'm learning how to edit through a video edit editing app called CapCut. And, um... It's a big help. It is. It's going to take me a while to catch up with the old timers is what I call them. Or A-list. <laughs> Artist on YouTube. Uh, my girls. Canela and Rinske and Molly. The ones I learned from. Lisa Marvin. That's where I want to do the bloom. Which I will be doing on my channel. I will be doing some of the blooms. Alright. It's stirred. Let me put this to the side. Um, what we're going to do first is... I'm going to show you how I mix my tube paints. I've got Amsterdam Permanent Red Violet. I want to get one of these cups here to dip with. Let me scoot it back. I spilled some of that flow trial. Let me get that up. I'm going to have it all over me. Okay. And I do like to measure everything. So, I measure in grams. I'm going to put um, probably 120 in here. Yeah. And that's, uh, I divide that into four parts. So, uh, or three parts. Like four, let me see. I need more napkins. I didn't clean that flow trial up good enough. Okay. So I'm gonna put a third of the paint or the this mixture of the paint. So three will go into four times. Forty. So that'll be one sixty. One more blue blue. 160. So that's 40 grams. I usually zero the scale out to do that, but I didn't. That's the reason I was getting confused. Uh, and then you stir it up really good. This uh, Dutch pour mixture that I use here is a thicker uh, mixture than Canela's mixture with the flow trial and water only. 
Erica Hughes uses this float trial and gel recipe. And that is where I got it from. But I learned to do the Dutch pour by watching Canela. If you can see that, it's really thick. So now we're going to add, I had 40 grams of paint. I'm going to add 40 grams of water. I zeroed my scale out. Okay, that's 40. I went over 2 grams. That is not going to hurt. Some people just directly go directly in their bottles and mix their paint, and I don't. I like to check out my consistency, and I can't do that in a bottle because you got to have the right consistency. And I do do a consistency test before my paint, each paint, to make sure each paint is the same consistency. I just put a little dab of each color on a piece of paper, and then you hold the paper, hold the paper up, and let it run down. And they all need to run down at the same time, at the same speed. And if one is too slow, you just add more water. And if one is too fast. You just add more paint. The consistency should go back into itself. Perfect. You don't want any mounds. That is perfect consistency right there. And I just make whoa. I'm glad that was just water. Okay. And we're going to put it and do my lovely Vefi bottle. I want to show y'all something. These are the little bottles that I was using before I bought the lovely Vefi bottles and became an affiliate for their company. See these little lids right here? You wouldn't believe how many of these I've lost. I had these bottles sitting everywhere with toothpicks stuck in them <laughs> to plug the hole up. Well, that won't happen anymore. These lids are attached. And you ain't going to be able to lose them. I love them. I absolutely love these bottles. And I got me a, a little bl uh, Bluetooth printer label printer and you want to know what is in each bottle you don't want a bunch of these bottles sitting around with no labels because you're not going to know what's in them you, I promise you it's a word of advice it says Amsterdam permanent red violet flow gel it tells me what recipe I've used and what color is in it Alrighty, now we're going to transfer this into this. I had some little paper cups that I could squeeze. I hope this plastic don't break. I made just a little bit too much. Not much though. I hate wasting paint, don't you? Okay. And that's how I mix my paints. This is how I mix my pigments. And after this painting re this uh, recipe tutorial, um, we're going to paint. I mixed up a bunch of pigments last night. I don't know if I've told any, anybody, uh, but I've been wanting to do a Dutch pour with mostly pigments only. And that's what I'm doing. 
in my previous videos, I was melting my pigments in alcohol, but I no longer do that. I'm using this product right here by Atelier. You can get it on Amazon. Binder Medium. And that's what I melt them in before I put my flow trial gel recipe. Let me make sure I shake it. I just put, I don't know, can y'all see that? Not much. Just enough to melt pigments. And I do. And this little container here, I just do one scoop like that. And you want to be very gentle. That's, this stuff will poof out and go everywhere. This is T.O.P. Whitehaven. And y'all know I like to use the Iridescent Pearl by Golden in every painting as my last color. I just love the glow it gives. Well, I told you I'm wanting to do pigments only. So, I'm hoping that this right here will take place of the pearl, iridescent pearl. Y'all wouldn't believe the pigment sound that I never use. And I'm hoping that that binder medium stuff there that we just, that I just showed you, I'm hoping it's going to work. Y'all will see me use it here after I do this video. Alright. It's mixed really good. I'm pretty sure that this is going to go well. Because I used one color in a painting the other day. And... It was just beautiful. Majesty by T.O.P. It's a new one. Oh. Okay. I, before I... See? I'm clumsy. Before I spill this, it's expensive. You want to put the lid back on. And then I just pour that mixture that I made in there. And mix it up real good. And then we'll check the consistency. And I know I'll need water. We're almost finished. We're almost at the end of the video. My daughter, I heard, just heard my daughter walk in. She's here for a visit. And, uh, I just spilled it. Mac's in there. Mac is a man that we knew, me and my husband both knew growing up. He was, about 30 years ago, he was walking down the road in the middle of the night, leaving a friend's house and going home, and someone just ran him over. He was on the side of the street, walking down the sidewalk, and they just kept going. But uh, it crushed in his skull and crippled the right side of his body. And his mind is like a 10-year-old. And his mother took care of him after that until her dad. He was the only child. And then his father wasn't around. So after his mother's death, he had nobody to take care of him. And the courts came to us. They were going to put him in an institution and um, since we were the only ones that visited him in the hospital, uh, they contacted us and asked us if we would be interested in um, taking custody of him. And that was in 2008. He's been with us ever since. So he's in there. I'll introduce you sometimes. Anyhow... See how that just uh, puddles up? You don't want that. 
So I need a little bit of water. Not much. This, these are pigments. So they don't make it as thick as that acrylic paint. And wait till y'all see the colors that we're going to be using in this next painting. Oh, my. All right. Whitehaven. T.O.P. Whitehaven pigment. For a Dutch pour. Look at that. Perfect consistency. And I'm going to put my lid on here. I've got a label over here I'm going to put on it. So I won't forget what's in there. Liquid jewels right there. Anyhow, um, if you're wanting to learn how to do this, and I've had so many people say, Rhonda, I can't do it. I tried, I tried. Make your recipe just like I just did, okay? And if you have any questions, please comment me. I'll be happy to answer your questions. I love comments. I love to talk. I'll answer you back. And I'm going to end this video and say please subscribe. Tap the like button and watch my videos. And hit the notification bell and you'll be notified every time I do a new video. Um... I'm averaging maybe one a week right now, or one every two weeks. And I'll see y'all here in just a minute when we go over here and make this painting, okay? Bye. Hey, y'all. Welcome to my channel. Rhonda Thomason Acrylics and Clocks. And you just saw me do a mixing video. And I've already got my uh, foundation down. Uh, this is not a deep edge canvas. It's just a regular canvas. Because what I'm doing today is a Dutch pour with uh, all pigments. Not exactly all pigments, but a lot of pigments. And um, I'm using this new product to melt my pigments. So this is really like a test piece. This is a Tillier binder medium. And I mix my pigments in it, and then I put my gel flow trial in it. Well, if you watch the beginning of this video, you'll, you'll see it. But we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I believe I'm going to start with a tube paint. Windsor Violet. And this is my gel recipe. I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to start down here. And just go up like this and then we're gonna go out here and out here it's just gonna be like a little simple composition nothing special um, on top of that well I could have took the tops off of my pigments these are purple pigments TLP, and I didn't mix up a bunch because I don't, like I said, I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, what do I want to put on top of that? I'm going to put enchantment. I'm going to pinch this cup and just pour it. It'll show up pretty on top of that Windsor Violet. And then after I blow this out, I may add some more wispies. I don't know. Okay, we're going to set that one aside. 
And this is another tube paint, my uh, PBO Iridescent Green Yellow, in my Lowly Vefi bottles. Uh, I showed those to you at the beginning of the, the uh, video. I love these bottles. I really do. Use my code READY10 and you'll get a 10% discount on your purchase. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, what do I want to do next? I think I'll do... The Constellation, TLP Constellation. I know the purple one. Purple and green, I think, go really good together. Okay. I've got gold here that I'm going to use and I have to have use my old Holland iridescent violet. Um, it's just I use it in most of my paintings, I, unless it's like earth tones or blues. Set it to the side. I don't want to have to use it again. How? What do y'all? Oh. <laughs> Hoity toity, TLP. I've never used it. I'm going to. Watch me. Here we go. This this stuff is just outrageous. The SUP um, pigments from TLP. I'm going to go ahead and put my gold. It's by Golden Iridescent Precious Gold. I used to use the 24K. And uh, when I started using this, I quit using the 24K. I've been debating whether to use the Iridescent Blue Black. But I'm going to. Wait, I don't know. I don't want to get too much paint on here. I've still got the Agapanthus and the Nightfall. I want to put the Nightfall. I want to thank everybody for subscribing. Um, I've been made a YouTube partner. I started my channel four months ago, and I've already reached almost 2,000 subscribers. And I must have gotten enough watch hours, because I don't know how many I have. But, uh, yeah, I got an email from YouTube, and I am now a YouTube partner. So, uh, I'll be able to start monetizing and making a little money for all these supplies because it's a lot. It is. Uh, do y'all think I should use the Agapanthus? I'm not going to use the blue black. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use the Ag Agapanthus. I gotta use the blue light. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of pain on here. And then, in place of my uh, iridescent pearl by Golden, you know, I always top my paintings with it. Well, I wanted something pearly. This is the TLP Whitehaven. And here we go. This will be the last one, and we'll blow it out. I'm going to use my um, flower hair dryer for this one since it's a smaller canvas. Um, I do think I might need some more 
uh, blowout paint around it though. And if y'all try this, this is a, a thicker mixture. Alrighty. Oh, I wanted to show y'all these. Look what I got. We started getting eggs about three months ago. Our chickens finally got old enough. Our hens finally got old enough to start laying. And uh, there's three of us. There's me and my husband and Mac. I told y'all about Mac. Um, I take care of him. But, um, and we eat six eggs every morning, two apiece. And uh, our hens have started laying enough for us to not have to buy eggs anymore. So that's, that's really good. I've got two pops and bubbles. And I'll show y'all this when it dries so y'all can see too how that product works. This right here for pigments. I've never seen anybody on uh, YouTube doing Dutch pours with pigments. But if y'all if y'all know of anybody that's done, doing it, let me know. Alrighty, here we go. You know, I'm thinking, well, this right here is, I should have started this line a little further down. I believe they're going to run in together, but it's too late now. Here we go. Maybe I'll come over with this like that. Oh, well. This is on low. It doesn't have a post setting. check something y'all right here uh, I think that'll be all right and y'all know me I gotta pull out my big gun I don't want to break my eggs <laughs> this is my mini blower Tracy redesigned you can get these attachments and uh, I couldn't do what I do without it here we go. Um, I believe I'm going to go out right here. Bring that up. Like that. This is going to be beautiful, but I do believe it needed more uh, dark tube paints for the pigments to show up, you know? You need to scrape your grips. You don't want all your color to be pulled off. Okay. <clears throat> I'll scrape my drips. And I believe I'm going to use the torch one more time. You always pay close attention to your sides, too. Um, 
it's real important to me for my side to be as pretty as the top of the painting even though this one isn't on a gallery wrap canvas I'm gonna still be picky about it <laughs> Yeah, I wish I'd have put some more wispies out right here. I lost some color. All right, I'm gonna bring y'all in for a close up. <sighs> I'll put the flasher on and turn the light out. <clears throat> there we go. <sighs> there it is. TLP pigments. I'm a beginner at using them in a Dutch pour, so y'all are learning with me. See, next time I'll use uh, some Payne's Gray, yeah, to make them pigments show up better. And maybe a darker uh, foundation. But anyhow, All right, you can't see. Can you see the shimmer? Well, yeah, there it is. Look at that. It's going to shimmer. All right, y'all. I'm going to let y'all go. I know we're running into some time. Well, not, not long. 14 minutes for this. And I forget how long it was for the mixing video. But anyhow, and it was nice meeting y'all. Please subscribe to my channel and tap the like button. And I'm going to be doing another painting tomorrow. So, y'all stay tuned. Hit that notification bell, okay? Bye.